I was in the process of emptying some storage here on my Mac and I found a way that most people have never covered before. So I wanted to make this video to show you exactly how to do it. One of the programs I've used in the past is called Clean My Mac X. I'm not covering that in this video, but this basically lets you do ton of things to empty space and open up more space on your Mac. So I went ahead and I just completed the system scan here and removed ton of stuff. And then I reviewed large and old files here and removed a bunch there. And I also went through the uninstaller and uninstalled a bunch of different applications that were taking up some space here. But then I came across this other app called Gemini, which lets you scan for duplicate files. And it turns out a lot of the files on my Mac were just duplicates. Clean My Mac X does not scan for that. And almost every other software I've tried does not scan for duplicate files and gives you an easy option to remove duplicates. So you could try this completely for free. I just have the free version here. If you start here on the homepage, you could either drag a individual folder here to scan for duplicates, or you could just search your home folder here, which is your whole computer basically, and choose that. And I'm gonna go ahead and scan for duplicates here. And this is gonna go through my entire hard drive, basically my home folder. And it's gonna find all kinds of things that could be duplicates from videos to photos, to different documents that I might have by mistake duplicated and I don't need the duplicates of them. And I'm gonna let this finish up and then I'll show you what I found. Okay, the scan took about 10, 15 minutes here on my computer with about a terabyte of information. And he found 28 gigabytes of duplicate information and he selected some of them for deletion. So let me go ahead and press review results here. And here are a bunch of the duplicate files, about 21 gigs. And you could see right here on the right side, it shows me how many there are. In some cases like this one, I've duplicated this multiple times. So there's five copies. This one has three copies. So what I could do is I could extend out any one of these here and see where they are and manually go and delete them. If I just see the path here, this one's in the Dropbox folder. Or another option I have is I could just use the smart cleanup here with this application, but I think that one does require a paid upgrade. So that's up to you if you wanna do this manually or use the cleanup option. With the cleanup option, you have the two gigs here, but you could select additional files like this and it will remove anything that you select from this page. And I could jump into video because I could see video and folders here. They're taking up a lot of space, so I'll go to folders. And then here, again, I could see if there is four different versions of the same exact folder, or there's two, there's three, this is really hard to do by manually trying to do this without any apps. So that's why I got this app. And you also have similar files. Now these are not exactly duplicates, so I wouldn't go into similar unless you really wanted to take your time to figure out what's going on. But duplicate is where you want to be. Again, select all of them, either manually delete them in Finder, just find the path, or use the smart cleanup by upgrading this free app here to the paid version of it. Check out the links below for more videos covering Mac cleanup, including removing malware and removing the other folder that could be a big culprit on how much space you're losing on your Mac. I hope you found this useful. I'll see you next time.